Hello, I'm going to talk about keyboard layouts. The official uh, Raspberry Pi keyboard has been released and uh, they have uh, six uh, layouts now UK, US, French, German, Italian, Spanish. Uh, uh, those uh, six are the current layouts. And here uh, we see uh, the UK version and uh, it's also in the UK here so I changed to US here <coughs> and uh, uh, they are different here at the enter key so they have different uh, keys here Uh, they look different <coughs> and that's because uh, this uh, uh, they have different layouts here they have the same number of keys they the US keyboard has uh, this key here with backslash and vertical bar but uh, then uh, instead uh, the UK keyboard has this with tilde and number sign but uh, the UK keyboard has one uh, extra key and that's here uh, it has backslash and vertical bar and uh, the US doesn't have that key but they have a longer shift key instead um, so uh, you get more uh, buttons for your money if you buy the UK keyboard <coughs> but uh, maybe you uh, are used to the US keyboard and want to use that and the question I had was that if you press uh, on this here function and Z would you get the same function here as uh, I'll press more here as this uh, key here because I have another computer here uh, with a keyboard it's uh, this here it's uh, Asus EEE PC900 and in that case they use the Z button in this way that they use the function key to get uh, this extra button because in my case it has a Nordic keyboard layout uh, I use it as a Swedish Finnish keyboard. Um, <coughs> then uh, we can look here at the French uh, keyboard layout. And then we see they have, uh, instead of QWERTY, they have a 30. So they moved about, uh, Z and W have switched places, and A and Q. And uh, then M is here uh, instead of below K. Uh, as it is on the US version. And uh, perhaps it's better to compare to the English uh, UK. Mm. And then we could look at the German here. Uh, it takes a bit of time here because uh, I've not shown this picture for a while. Uh, they have chords here. So there is said there and that uh, is switched with Y here. <coughs> so uh, while they have these different layouts, they probably they want to have common keys under stronger fingers I think but it's also an old uh, tradition um, otherwise uh, they have these umlauts here uh, ä, ä, ü. and uh, 
this is a bit similar to Swedish keyboard because we are also uh, 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 but O oh, here instead but otherwise they are not so similar um, <coughs> uh, because we have some dead keys that we can use but maybe they have these two here but they are different dead keys the dead keys are keys that you press and nothing happens but then when you press the next key it adds uh, uh, dots or things to the character uh, we could also note here that uh, here the parentheses are an 8 and 9 but on this uh, US keyboard and also the UK they are above 9 and 0 and uh, if we then take Italian here it's also it's black uh, they have them on 8 and 9 the same as German um, I think uh, an advantage here with this keyboard is that they have this uh, numlock key and uh, uh, caps lock uh, light led so they have numlock led and caps lock led and then they have uh, what this can be uh, not sure what that is I probably scroll lock yes because scroll lock is an old function which uh, almost no one uses but there is some old programs I've heard that the police uses it in Sweden for something that they when they enter reports they use scroll locks some so they need that so there are some old programs that still use it <coughs> uh, maybe it was his request that they please use but uh, when they enter things but um, uh, this is used in some emulators this is request uh, but then you have to press F and and then uh, this key in order to generate that and also we could look here at the Spanish uh, then they <coughs> have these uh, parentheses above 8 and 9 and uh, but the same as the other European keyboards except the uh, UK so uh, the Spanish is rather similar to uh, Swedish when it comes what's uh, above the number keys so in some cases when you cannot find uh, Swedish or Finnish keyboard you can use Spanish instead and then uh, it's almost similar uh, for instance uh, I have this uh, C64 Mini and uh, that doesn't uh, support uh, a Swedish or Finnish keyboard so uh, the Swedish and Finnish keyboard is the same but uh, I use Spanish then instead because then I can use the Swedish keyboards with that mm. and uh, uh, then we have this corner here they have uh, home and page down page up they have to use function key to use those functions and that's a bit difficult when you edit quickly but uh, you have to have this in order to get this small keyboard size um, but they could have squeezed in some extra keys here I think <coughs> um, and then we also see uh, these here close to the enter is uh, they are smaller here and uh, on the US they are all squares around the enter key and I prefer that but uh, you don't use these I mean you could use that rather often but if you compare it to the UK here 
so you could use these rather often when you program C or other languages, for instance. Uh, Yeah, and then uh, one wonders here how this uh, this probably works very well with Raspberry Pi and its uh, keyboard drivers. But how well does this keyboard work when you use it together with uh, another operating system, for instance Windows? Because um, this function key uh, perhaps sends a scan code, but sometimes they are handled internally by the keyboard itself, so it, uh, when I for instance press uh, on this US keyboard F and Z, then I want that to work as this uh, key to the left of the Z on the UK keyboard. And the question is if it uh, does work that way in all operating systems. You have to uh, test this. Uh, yes, what can we more say about this? Uh, I prefer US keyboard when I program because then uh, you have these common keys that you use uh, as separate. You don't, you can type them more quickly. And uh, here, if we take, for instance, uh, I think. Uh, difficult to say here, but some keyboards have a lot of uh, dead keys, so you press this uh, uh, circumflex, it's called, I think, arrow up, but then if you, you have to press this key and space in order to type it, and that takes longer time than, uh, for instance, on uh, US keyboard, you just press shift and uh, six. Um, but uh, so I think they should have a US keyboard where they have an extra key here that would be useful. Um, and then uh, <coughs> in these keyboards, uh, people have tried to fit in uh, Raspberry Pi 3A and Raspberry Pi Zero, and uh, that is possible to do, but. Uh, it, they could have simplified the circuit board there, I think, that, um, putting on solder points and things like that. Uh, yes, uh, by the way, here I have a mug here with the SZX81 keyboard. And, uh, yeah. But it's not exactly ZX81 because it spawns. It's uh, well, it was an improved Spectrum on SETI. It's an improved uh, ROM for ZX81 that gives uh, ZX81 uh, the same functions as uh, Sinclair Spectrum, except color. Uh, yes, so that's uh, what I have to say about keyboards now.